All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Holland here. It is 6.30 p.m. and I'm trying to do a video just to show you how to create a new assignment in Gradebook. I'll go over um, how to set up your Gradebook in future videos. Uh, the ones that I had before are no longer valid. If you actually look at my particular um, set up here if I can find it there we go uh, prior to yesterday Tuesday 8 12 2014 when you clicked on instruction you had about eight other links here that were available to you one being assignments one being gradebook beta um, etc etc those items have been removed uh, I believe they were removed to help us transition into the gradebook, uh, the campus instruction beta. So keep that in mind. Everything we're going to be doing in the near future will be done via this link right here. Uh, I'm not really going to click on this right now because I don't want um, FERPA information to appear in this video. However, I am going to use the sandbox let's pretend um, you know Peter Pan Disneyland if you will uh, sandbox that is the training box that we were given back in May okay it's still active for Pickens County Schools so I'm able to show you a few things however keep in mind the year 1314 obviously now we're in 1415 so you just have to pretend okay You've got to believe people. All right, so basically, um, if you believe that Aaron Holland is Melissa Will Wolcott, we're good to go, okay? Because I'm going to hit this, hit the ground running here. Now, um, obviously, Dr. Lemieux sent an email out this evening clarifying specifics in um, your gradebook that have to be set up. Now, when we went to training... Um, the jargon, the language that was given to us is simple. The grading scales for each of the nine weeks, the final um, and the final grade, we do not determine those. That's set at the district level. Okay. However, the weighted categories such as formative and summative, we've got to set those up. Okay. So for those of you that set those up via the previous links of last week of yesteryear of Boy Meets World, right, you would have access already to Gradebook. So for those of you that are at that point, and I know I've been given several emails and phone calls over the past few days wanting to know how to create a new assignment in Gradebook. Okay, so I'm going to use the playground of the infinite campus training that was given to us back in May to show you how to do this. You have to pretend with me, but I'm going to try to be as basic um, and as straightforward as I can. Simply put, the default login currently when you log into infinite campus, regardless of what platform you use, um, the Pickens platform is going to put you on what's called the campus tools. Now you need to go over here to the um, tabs area. You're going to click this, clip, uh, click Campus Instruction Beta. From here, you're going to click Gradebook. Everything you do, even if you've not set up your Gradebook um, initially, you're going to do from this tab right here, Gradebook. Okay, and I'm not going to get into all that. But let's say, again, that you're one of those people that took the time to set up your categories, i.e. formative and summative. If you read the email that was sent from Dr. Lemieux, I mean, not even 10 minutes ago, um, on 8-13-2014, you'll know what I'm talking about. It sets the um, weighted categories of formative and summative depending on what your department is. English, science, social studies. Um you know vocational where we're at CTA everyone has their own piece of the pie that they decided formative and summative will be different okay it's that's just the way the cookie crumbles alright so if you set these initial categories up 
which again the ones that have requested this video I'm gonna bust through it real quick real simply you go you clicked on the grade book you know what class you're gonna have alright so I'm gonna go ahead and go to 10th grade uh, lit and comp honors first period alright now when I do that I'm right here okay I'm, I'm, it's loaded it's good to go we're in quarter one I'm gonna click these this right here add okay once it comes up it's gonna pop up everything in red uh, is mandatory okay uh, for those of you that have a red letter Bible edition um, you know the red letter is what Jesus said so yes that's the most important thing you might want to pay attention to so red is good okay regardless of what teachers say with their grading policies yes red is good here so you're gonna have to name it so uh, let, let's just use an example here let's let's go ahead and do um, Shakespeare 101 now forgive me for my spelling it is what it is you have to abbreviate you only have four to five characters here however so I would do S H A K one okay shack one now if you have the same class and I'm gonna to try to be as specific as possible here the same class in the same term meaning first and second term or third and fourth term right um, you choose those classes if you're gonna do the same assignment in those this is the point where you would copy an assignment it, uh, it's proactive when you go in here you understand that you're setting these assignments ahead of time okay so let's click this one and the first thing I notice is it's term three and term four that means it's second semester I don't want that one I don't care what you say I don't know who you're related to doesn't matter to me I'm not gonna set a value to this because the Lord knows that last year in uh, from January to June we had about 15 snowmageddons okay so honestly I wouldn't even try this uncheck done deal okay so I'm gonna check this one again these are both term one and term two same class all right you get what I'm saying here you gotta set your dates now now I'm just gonna tell you by default some numbers may populate here you just need to make sure that whatever decision you make is within the realm of what those terms are in other words if you're gonna to try to pop this one up here you're gonna to have to set the terms the uh, assigned date and the due date after January if that makes sense because you're talking about second semester third nine weeks and fourth nine weeks okay but if you keep it down here for both of your classes for me for instance I have introduction digital technology first and second block so yes I'm gonna make the same assignments in those same classes I'm gonna keep them basically um, you know borderline like some straight up um, Madonna borderline alright so case in point here term one term two term one term two make sure you set your values over here they fall within the um, relatable category which at this point in the game should be anywhere from I'm gonna pull my computer up here 811 to 815 if you're gonna put grades in this specific week I'd say you know 811 assigned and 815 due you don't have to put this however if you don't put it the due date and the assigned date will populate on the same number um, I would just for now do that okay because we're on a sink and swim mentality you gotta go with the punches okay the grade book sequence its default 1.0 okay I I don't have really much a lot of information on this I'm sorry um, straight up Brian Adams please forgive me I know now what I do right so basically at this point you keep this default don't change any of these values okay and if you've taken the time to set up a student group yes this will be in a future video you can do the drop down and do small group one or two 
the, the student group setup is for if you have students with an IEP or 504 that may or may not be assigned these specific assignments this is a way where you can actually do an assignment for them and they won't get that little asterisk next to the dash that like shows the parent when they log in they see that little Johnny with the 504 and the IEP only has 12 of the 30 assignments meanwhile Tommy of the Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid has 30 of 30 okay so just keep that in mind that's again will be done at a later date you just you, you got to roll with the punches okay again scroll down you're gonna keep going align to gradebook yes it's default don't mess with it if if these things are checked if the values are populated don't mess with them okay again you're looking for red letter edition um, if uh, again I'll go ahead and explain this the section if you do this up here it's gonna do all areas okay but case in point like I told you before you're not gonna do term three and four because you have no idea if you're gonna be covering that same material so uncheck that okay but we're at this point remember you're gonna choose quarter one or quarter two depending on where you're at in the game all right honestly we're in Q1 right now so there's no reason to go any further detail into that this point you decide is what I'm doing Shakespeare 101 is it going to be a formative or summative evaluation okay and we agreed from the point from from the moment we started this thing it would be points okay now if if you don't like points you want percents guess what set it at a hundred percent set it at a hundred points end of discussion right alright so I'm gonna do this summative and I'm gonna pop in here 100 okay the multiplier real simply put I would leave this default for everything however if you have a project some major assignment that's that is gonna weigh heavily on the overall grade of that student do the multiplier on these points so if it's a major project let's say you want it to be count as seven standard grades you're gonna do a multiplier of seven okay you know four five whatever it may be I'm keeping it one I'm keeping it simple to the point scroll down a little bit more you can add a description um, for those of you that really want to take this thing to the next level if you want to add objectives you can and also add references such as links um, you know uh, standards etc I would try to keep this as simple as possible look we give a syllabus out at the beginning of the year we have a rolling continuous uh, modifiable website that uh, we have been required to show our standards etc so keep it simple keep it in the cloud etc finally student work product do not worry about this keep this on none we have not been given any training whatsoever or really any information on this I personally use Edmodo as my online assessment and my student submission ability um, I strongly recommend it if you have those capabilities especially if you have a lab um, an area where students can upload uh, Word documents they can upload um, Google Docs to you etc they can take polls all kinds of good stuff okay but basically like I said if you want to keep this simple and sweet don't fill any of this out don't mess with this at all keep it Q1 until obviously we get back in what is it October when we bump into uh, Q2 and then we'll go and drop down here for our assignments just remember that part keep your points 100 um, unless you're a stickler like you may have a daily grade you may only want to do 10 points you can do that okay just throw the points in here remember your formative and summative are based on percents of the overall grade per nine weeks it has nothing to do with the final and it has nothing to do with the final grade that's the important thing to remember so case in point one more thing you must name it you must give an abbreviation you must throw your dates in within the compounds of what you're doing um, again uh, last year I put grades in power school when I had the assignments graded okay so it may be a Friday or a Saturday 
of course I would always make Friday the due dates for the assignments you do whatever fits for you if you want to take that time to put when it was assigned and when it was due you know maybe it was assigned that Monday and it wasn't due until that Friday feel free to do so whatever floats your boat you know that's the way the cookie crumbles once you're done with all this you're gonna click save see how it said saved if everything is kosher and everything is good it's gonna say saved if it isn't it's gonna have exclamation point red exclamation points on any areas that must be corrected and down here a little red box will appear and say hold up actually it says you know like cannot complete whatever you know values are not set correctly etc fix your you know fix your errors so again at that point you would look at the red letter edition remember red 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 scroll down make sure all this works make sure all of it drives and then uh, I'm sure you're gonna have a change somewhere and then at that point you click save again and you're done now I made this shack one so when I click close guess what when I slide this over here I should see a shack one in here right and there it is shack one which uh, you know is Shakespeare 101 one final point if you want to modify it at any uh, you know in any way shape or form click the link the blue link and it brings up the settings again the assignment details you can change any of this on the fly if you want if you don't want to do that let's say you just want to do a blanket fill scores it's just like power school just a little bit different you're gonna click fill scores and comments alright select items to fill you're gonna go ahead and click this right here and give your value remember the value has to be within whatever your boundaries were when you set it up let's say you said a hundred right that's your max if you try to put a thousand in here it's not gonna work okay if you wanna put comment you can click that and then put your comments here like little Johnny didn't do what he wanted to you know what he was supposed to do however remember that comments on everyone because you're doing a field score slash comments so you can maybe in here put good job everyone but I wouldn't mess with this unless it's specifically to a student okay so the grade a hundred select students all click fill and BAM every one of them are filled now at this point if you're one of those ones like me that did this because it's easier because overall percent majority did it let's say uh, little Terry Bishop didn't do it you can go ahead and click backspace if you're one of those ones that want to give them some time to do it or you can give them a straight up zero it's that simple okay click save remember save often and it's a good deal okay and so that in a nutshell is how you actually add an assignment to gradebook hopefully this helps i'll have more videos here in the near future thank you